going on guys? Tonight, I'm at the King George Inn in Coburg, Ontario. Now, for you that don't know what the King George Inn is, it's a hotel. It wasn't always a hotel though. Up until about 1990 or so, it operated as a jail. Originally built in the 1800s, it served as a governor's mansion up until the early 1900s when it was then bought by the county, Durham County, and um, turned into a penitentiary. At maximum capacity in this area, it held uh, close to 100 inmates, both male and female. It remained a penitentiary under the county until the 60s, where it was then taken over by the provincial government and remained in operation up until the 90s. Up until the death penalty was abolished by public hangings, they've hung people here. There have been people that have hung themselves in their cells. As you can see beside me, a lot of the rooms have been built around the original jail cells that were once in here. And we're sleeping where the inmates themselves once slept. Now, with that, there's been reports here of um, paranormal activities such as EVP, apparitions appearing in photos, furniture being knocked over, and even people being scratched by unknown entities. It doesn't surprise me, though, with all the evil that has come through here. So, we're going to... Uh, see what kind of information we can uh, gather and document, if any, tonight. This is Northern Paranormal. Let's get into it. All right, so I'm in the King George Hotel right now. Right behind me is the infamous room number 10. Room number 10 has reportedly have a lot of, a lot of activity going in there. Room 10 is the room. Nobody wants to be in here. In fact, that activity in this room is so bad that uh, there was a lady that stayed there one night and couldn't stay there anymore. She actually called the owners and was freaking out and had to be moved because of how disturbing the activity can be in there. It used to be part of the infirmary, infirmary, excuse me, <laughs> but uh, since they did the renovations, a medium, psychic medium, said that it had blocked the natural flow of the way things were. So now there's some weird ass energy that's trapped in there. There's been reports of uh, pieces of furniture being knocked over. And uh, just, just an all round bad, bad feeling. How crazy would it be if it like just like the biggest fucking bang on the door right now? Would that freak you out? Did she put someone in there for the night? Nobody wants to stay in there. So Somebody was saying that this carried a lot of energy through it, but then once it was built, it blocked that energy off. I think mm -hmm. I read about it, a medium said that. Yeah, I've heard that as well. Absolutely. So this part here was the infirmary, or through that door was the infirmary? This area here. Yeah. And I really can't honestly confirm, but I believe that was um, used for um, holding inmates while the, they were coming into the infirmary. Okay. Bless you. Thanks. 
Okay. Oh. It was at that point that the digital EMF meter I had in my pocket spiked a bit with a reading of 0 0.02 micro teslas. It's nothing, but as soon as I put it back in my pocket, it spiked again with an increased reading of 0.18, bringing the total to 0.20 micro teslas. Still a small spike, but a sign that something might be in here. Also, being a digital temperature gauge as well, I was able to notice uh, slight fluctuations in the environment by degrees that kept going up and down, up and down, although this room did stay relatively warm. Did you knock this lamp over? This lamp? Is there something that stays in here? And the temperature is stays at 24.3. I don't know, maybe it's my jacket, but I felt it before when I was in here. Just, it gets warm. I don't see why it gets warm when it's like a tile floor and no, it's usually stone a walls and here. brick. Freak, and I always have these the right way. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, like I said, I think this is the one that you'd have to like, you'd have to really wait it out. But I thought it was funny how it was around like 26 degrees, mm -hmm. and then it's dropped almost like two degrees in temperature. It's and, uh, yeah, but I'm surprised it was that warm in here. It's usually. Well, I don't know. I don't, I don't like to come in here. Right. <laughs> okay. It's now we're going to go down into the basement. Room number 11, too. That was the one we were going to be in the middle of the room, right? Room 11 is a room where supposedly a couple inmates, when it was a jail back in the day, have hung themselves.
said this was a good spot to come and do EVP sessions. supposed to be activity in here too. Pieces of furniture, and what's left over from the infirmary. That was here. And they caught something on film that was hanging right there. I don't know, maybe somebody was hung in the basement down here. Who knows? But this is part of the intake. This is where they would bring prisoners in. They bring them in through that door right there. But some some researchers have sworn that they get evidence in this room here. So I think we should set up. Um do some EVPs. I'm starting to get some chills. So who knows? Maybe maybe there is something in here. I'm going to put this down, which is a digital recorder. It will be used to record EVPs, which are electronic voice phenomena, as most of us know. So while this records, I have two audio sources in the camera recording. Now I have this. 
because there has been known to be AVPs down here. So I'm going to set this right here. And if there's anything down here, hopefully it'll, it'll pick it up. Now, So right around here, I just see something in the corner of my eye. There's one of these guys. something up. If at any time I'm not paying attention to this and you see the lights go off, let me know. I have the infrared camera going right now. I'm going to cut out the lights on my camera. And it's going to get a little bit darker in here. Now, almost instantly, after turning on the infrared camera, something is spotted flying across the screen. Now, most likely this can be dismissed as a bug or maybe some dust, as we all know. But given the fact that it is the middle of January, I think it's highly unlikely that it would be a bug. However, this was just a taste of things to come upon reviewing the footage afterwards, as you will see. If there's anything in here with us, can you touch my right hand? Is this camera on? No. Well, it keeps making noises. I just did it. It's going to sleep. Okay. Again, upon review of this footage afterwards, noticed an orb go flying across the screen, and it was followed by almost an inaudible whisper that sounded like it was saying, watch your mouth. Man, you don't want to talk? You don't want to let yourself be known? Bang on the wall. Bang on a pipe, a ceiling, anything like that. Can you use our energy to bring yourself present? Has this place been cleansed? Maybe, maybe you've already passed on? 
You no longer want to stay here? Now, here, when I go to adjust my microphone, all of a sudden I get this weird static interference. Not really sure where it came from. Um, but what's even stranger is that as soon as I finish adjusting my microphone, a weird white anomaly comes up from the ground and then goes right back down. And then a second one uh, seems to come up with a straight trajectory, goes to go flying behind me, but then changes its course and does a complete 180 going back the same way that it came. So next, we decided to do a spirit box session. Now, I know there's a lot of speculation around using uh, these digital application spirit boxes, but again, I'm still new and I'm still building my, my tools. And I think sometimes this thing actually gives you um, pretty accurate readings. But anyways, check it out. Hello? Where are we right now? Where are we? Tell us where we are. Cobra, Cobra. What is this place that we're in? I'm going to turn the reverb off. Turn the echo off. Reverb on. Yeah, that's better. Hello? Did you say get out? Experiment. Do you feel like animals caged up in here? Did some pretty bad things though. Right. right. Some of you. You want the truth? You can't handle the truth. Few good men. I know. <laughs> Can you turn your light down? Or... Is there any spirits with us? How many spirits? Can you give us an answer? Two? You say there's two down here? Five. What? It's repeating you. During our spirit box sessions with a bit of coercing, we were able to start getting a reading and some spikes on the EMF detector. 
Unfortunately, due to the camera position and the chairs being in front of us, you can't see the lights really going off. But you can tell by our reactions that we were actually starting to get spikes on the EMF detector. Absolutely. You can do it. Try it. It's not a trap. Walk through it. Come on. There you go. Are you kidding me? You can do it. Come on. Just like that. You like that? So who's here? Hmm? Just come near it again. I, I could feel your energy down there. Where are you? I know you're dead, but where? Can you do it again? Come on. Yeah? While you're doing that? Can you knock on the wall? No, it's too hard to do that. Are you up here again? Who's this? We're here, we just want to see your energy. Come through it again. It fucking listens to me, Darren. Three times. And then again, for the third time, we got another reading and another hit on the EMF detector. I'm not saying it doesn't listen to you, but it did do it three times when I said it. What? Better where? Yeah, that's better. Is that all you got? Thanks for coming and hanging out with us. What are you doing down here? Hi. Hello. What's your name? Ed. Can you make this thing in my hand go off again? To my left hand? Can you ask? Me? Yeah. Can you show us again that you're here? Can you make the thing light up again? Come and walk through it. Don't go silent. Can you come and show us that you're here again? Said so not right now. How do you know? Is that what it said? Sounded like it. How come you have to go? Dude, what? Right where?
I heard something over there. Do you live down here? Or do you stay all over the place? Come back and hang out with us. Come and make the meter go off again. That, that green thing on the chair right there, can you set that off? Can you try? Or you could show us in the camera. Can you try? Again, upon review of the footage, um, I found an EVP that was unrelated to the spirit box, meaning that one of my audio sources had picked it up. Um, and I can, I can prove this as it's the... First time it comes out here, but then towards the end of this um, investigation, it comes out again when the spirit box isn't even on. You'll see what I mean. Gotcha. Got you. Can you set this off again? This thing in my hand, touch it. Make it go off again. Let me show me you're here. Take my energy, use it. Was that you? How long have you been down here? Alright, I'm gonna end this. Thank you.
there anybody that can come and say goodbye to us before we go? The door that's just outside the hallway right before we go up the stairs. Mm -hmm. That was the solitary confinement room. And that's that's where they put the solitary confinement in. That's fucking crazy. That like vault door thing? Yeah. Can you imagine? Can you imagine being in a dark room like that? For fucking weeks, months? Yeah. What? Some car I'm not even holding this thing anymore and it's it's jumping between eighteen point nine now. Yeah. Now, just as we're sitting down here, we're pretty much getting ready to wrap up our investigation, and there's this bang that comes out from out the hallway. Now, I'm not going to lie, out of everything that happened that night, this scared me the most, and I did not want to get up and go check it out, although I should have. What could I say? Sometimes I'm a bit of a chicken. And he has, like... What the fuck was that? It was a noise. Yeah, but that was a loud fucking noise. He's down here. Yeah, you seen it? Yeah, and he has like, and he has like, what the fuck was that? It was a noise. Yeah, but that was a loud fucking noise. Come on, let's go check it out. Shh. Well. Hello? Is anybody there? Holy fuck, I feel fucking weird. It's still sitting at 18.8. That was you. Can you do that again? Whoever that was? Can you make can you make that noise again? That that door that's out there. Is it is it got like a push bar on it? Hello? Church bells. Fucking church bells. <laughs> All right. It, th that's the church bells? Yeah, did you hear it? No, that means what? It's 11? Yeah. That fucking happened right at 11. That was like 1 1 11. 11 is like another number, too. It's hurting a bit. Yeah. Like 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 sinus kind. Yeah. And and my fucking legs are like super goosebumpy. Really? Yeah. Did somebody hang themselves right here? Well, she said it wasn't jails, and this was like the intake. Yeah. But it also makes me think, like, was somebody hung down here, like, intentionally? Like, did they, did they execute people down here in the off time? I Maybe it's just an image that came up that they showed him of the hanging. But the thing was, like, they were communicating with it. Like, it was able to move its arm, and, like, they were, like, touching it, and there was, like, a cool breeze, and, like, this is where we're feeling the cool breeze. That's where the... I want to see this guy's video. The cool breeze is. Is that it? You just make that one noise, that's it?
Can you turn on the lights? That's it. Can you turn on the lights? Can you turn on the lights? Can you turn on the lights? Can you make the K2 meter go off again? Which one's K2 meter? It's stuck at 18.8 on the temperature, so I don't, uh, I don't think that's going to change. You all right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, it's 11. There's nothing happening down here now, so. Okay. Call it. Okay, so we did a uh, sit in the dark. We had some readings come through on the EMF detector. We had a temperature change from like 16, 17 degrees, popping all the way back up to 18, almost to 19 degrees. Um, a reading of uh, 0 0.04 Teslas on here. And just about three uh, three minutes ago or so, we heard a bang come out side from the hallway. So we're gonna go check that out. How do we turn that light back on? Oh, I forgot to get my phone back here. So. I didn't even notice this, but the, uh... What? This stopped recording. Shut up, really? Battery died. No, really? Yeah. When? How much did you get? Um, I don't know. It's been recording the whole time I went up and saw it, and the light was going off. Mm -hmm. I don't think the battery died. Let me, uh... I'll figure I can't remember how to use this thing. But yeah, no, the battery's the battery's dead. I don't know. We probably missed that. Oh, the blue light was on. Not a lot of activity. A little bit. Just a little bit. Here is the museum where they do museum y things. This is the room, solitary confinement. If you fucked up, that's where they put you. Okay. Is that what that noise was? Yes. Was this? No. I thought that's what it sounded like. Like. It was something that clicked. Sounded to me like just like picky. Yeah. What the fuck? Why is this going off? Getting a reading of 29 uh, Teslas. Yeah. Do you want to check in the uh, eating area before we go up? Okay. Yeah?
was with that door. I don't think we're supposed to go in there. It's not in there. I don't think this is the right place. Where is it? They said that there was another person that was doing EVPs in here, and they got the EVP of a little girl. Really? How did they know? Eh? Okay. How did they know? Well, that they listened back to the tape. Oh. Well, the little girl was in here, right? Right. Like, what was this part? This is. Apparently, where they would gas them. Yeah, that's what she said. Tear gas. Tear. Jail facts and tear gas. Is there anything here? If there's anything here, can you make this thing in my hand light up? It's warm, but I think it's just because you've been holding it. <laughs> What's down there?
Right behind me is room 11. That's a, apparently part of the jail where uh, two inmates had hung themselves. Apparently that's where furniture gets locked over. 